Welcome to Beyond Just Money. My name is Samta and we have the Director of Research of Calkine PTY Limited with us today, Ms. Hina Chaudhary as a guest speaker. Today we are going to discuss three ASX listed gold companies that have announced major updates that an investor should not miss. Welcome Hina to Beyond Just Money. We are seeing that ASX gold stocks such as St. Barbara Limited, Evolution Mining Limited, and West African Resources Limited have hit the bourses with important notifications. It would be great if you could just take our listeners through these updates and what it means. Uh, thanks, Samta, for having me here on the show. Uh, see, to be honest, with silver going up and you know gold also relaying some bits on the on the side of you know uh, bullish trends and then bearish trends. Uh, investors and market players are really scratching their heads over the price swings that we are looking at. Now, I will begin, um, you know, uh, by taking our listeners through what we have seen in these gold stocks, which you just mentioned, or companies that you've just mentioned. So, uh, talking about St. Barbara Limited, now the company has uh, released its uh, quarterly update for the period ending 31st December 2020, and uh, this was the second quarter of FY21. Now, gold production for this period period remained you know 22.85 percent higher against the previous corresponding period at around 89,000 ounces now the company also released slightly higher average price on sales at um, around you know uh, $2,000 per ounce so all in all you know these are good numbers of course you know these numbers are not the exact numbers but th- this is what the ballpark figures have been now, the company anticipates uh, FY21 production to remain in the range of uh, 370,000 to 410,000 ounces at an ESSEC, uh, which is, you know, all in sustaining cost between $1,360 to $1,510. Now, Mr. Craig Jetson, who is the managing director and CEO of uh, St. Barbara, he has mentioned that, you know, in the results announced uh, the second quarter of FI21 was a step up from the first three months uh, with a steady production profile and lower all in sustaining costs. The operational co- uh, you know, cash contribution of around 83 million Australian dollars was a strong result and reflects the company's improved cost profile as it focuses to deliver on building brilliance. Now, St. Barbara also announced uh, on February 4th that it is, you know, one of the 10 Australian companies within a total of 380 companies across 11 sectors to be included in the 2021 Bloomberg Gender Equality Index, which, you know, takes it to another level. Now, if you look at the stock performance, we have seen that SBM, which is, you know, the ticker for St. Barbara, it um, was trading at $2.26 around uh, February 5th of 2021. Right, right, Hina. And, you know, if you talk about the second gold company, which is a spotlight, it is Evolution Mining Limited. So what is the latest update on the company? Uh, If you could just share it with our listeners and you feel that our listeners really need to know. Uh, so Samta, Evolution Mining Limited is another gold stock which has been close to, uh, you know, to the hearts of many investors. Uh, it also released a price sensitive information pertaining to its joint venture with Musgrave Minerals Limited. Uh, the company has announced that the JV, uh, you know, based air core drilling at Lake Austin has defined new gold regolith uh, anomalies at West Island while extending the current gold mineralization at the prospect. Now, why this is a big announcement? Because the joint venture, you know, through this, Evolution can earn a 75% interest in the JV area by sole funding, uh, you know, um, Australian $18 million on exploration over a five-year term with a minimum commitment of Australian $4 million in the first two years. The company would commence the basement drill testing of the priority areas in early February 2021. And if you look at the stock price, it was last seen to be trading around $4.67. So I think this is another one where, you know, uh, people or investors have been looking critically of the company-driven announcements. Right, Hina. And Hina, um, let's talk about our last stock uh, for today. It would be West African Resources Limited. 
Um, please uh, take our listeners uh, through the company's latest updates. So some of the West African resources, you know, is the region's newest unhedged gold producer, so to say, after it poured first gold at its San Brado Gold project, Burkina Faso, on 18th of March 2020. So in the last one year, it has uh, kind of picked up in terms of, you know, the business um, developments and other things. The company released its quarterly report for the period ending 31st December 2020, which is the Q4 results, and it highlighted 10% increase in gold production at uh, 50,000 ounces, around 50,000 ounces. And the company realized an average sales price of uh, USD 1.923 per ounce during the period. For the present quarter, the West African Resources plans to maintain its continuous operations while focusing on further inching the gold production. Additionally, the company also aims to reduce its uh, you know, pre-ounce costs further. So if you look at the stock and if you look at what is happening uh, from business standpoint, now the updated resources and reserve estimate uh, 2021 you know, cost and production guidance um, and life of mine production for its San Brado operations, we are, we are looking at those updated numbers now and VAF would you know soon report the same um, the company plans to further continue its drilling campaign for Toyga feasibility study so I think there's a lot many things that are happening on the plate and uh, we're gonna see investors are waiting for uh, the announcements coming up from West African resources uh, at the stock if you look at it it traded at around 0.88 dollars as on Feb 5th 2021 so that's how the developments have been. But yeah, given the price scenarios, given what's happening on the gold charter, I think these, these stocks would be, uh, or should be, I, I probably put it as, they should be closely watched. Uh, right, Hina. And thank you, Hina, for sharing your um, insight and your uh, with us in such a comprehensive way. And uh, to listen to this podcast again, uh, log on to calcaimedia.com or please go on to our YouTube channel. We will see you soon with yet another insightful episode of Beyond Just Money next week. Till then, as we say, stay up price and invest wise with Galkine, your best guys.